coming today to the Work on Parents panel discussion. Um, firstly, I want to thank our fabulous panel and our compere Pete Edwards um, for taking their time out today to do this. Um, before I hand over to Pete, I just want to talk briefly about the NAUS Working Parents program. So as part of, the, part of the vital work that we do at NAUS to support the advertising media industry, we've um, extended our services extensively in 2014. Part of this is to design a program tailored towards working parents. So we offer a range of activities, both preventative and curative, and um, they're to help um, equip individuals with the valuable tools to gain a healthier and more positive perspective to being a working parent. So, so far, we've offered workshops on guilt, um, work-life balance, and understanding parent managers. These are free for all, and we also specifically train um, parent coaches to do one-to-one -one coaching. So please, actually, on your seats, you'll find the little guide to working parents. That's, there's more information on there, but check out our website because we're rerunning this in October. So you can book onto the workshops. They are first come first service, and they do fill up very quickly. Um, as part of this relaunch in October, we decided to put on a fabulous panel today um, with some amazing people from the world of media and advertising. Um, people introduce them, but first of all, I want to introduce Pete. Uh, he is the Chief Strategy Officer for Engine. He is in charge of working with the uh, group's biggest clients and also shaping the strategic offering within the group. He has 20 years experience working in the industry. He is also seen as a pioneering thinker and communicator in the industry. And he's won very numerous awards and is acknowledged as a leading planning strategist. He's also a working parent, so I think that puts him in very good stead to comment on his panel today. So without further ado, over to Pete. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to Engine. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this because hopefully we should get some fascinating insights into different perspectives of working parents and managing that perennial challenge, the blend between home and work. I'm not sure we're necessarily going to crack the definitive answers, <laughs> but hopefully some guidance and some guidelines as to how to get better at it. Um, a brief rundown of the format of the event. After I've introduced the panel, um, I'm going to ask them to give a little bit of an introduction to themselves, what they do, why they're involved in this process, and also some of the challenges particular to them that they've faced. I'll then open it up to a panel discussion. I've got some very nice questions that I've crafted with the help of NABs that we shall ask you. And then finally, open to you guys in the audience, anything you desperately want to know for particular individuals, that's your opportunity. Uh, we should wrap up at around 10.30. So, introductions. To my right, Mr. Steve Hatch. Morning. Steve is Facebook's first regional director of the United Kingdom and Ireland. Some of you may have come across Facebook. It's used by over 21 million people in the United Kingdom every day. It's 66. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Down badly. Um, owning Facebook Messenger, Instagram, and just about to, I mean, in the process of acquiring WhatsApp and Oculus Rift. Steve's got a illustrious career behind him, and I hope in front of him as well. Uh, he's prior to Facebook, worked at BMP, YNR, PhD, before finding his long-term home at um, the WPP media agency, MEC, and that was hugely successful. IPA Effectiveness Agency of the Year, Media 360's Agency of the Decade, not a bad thing to have on your CV. Um, also a passionate advocate of creativity and ideas, Steve's co-authored Rigorous Magic in 2007, still in print? It's still, still available, in Spanish as well. Excellent. <laughs> um, Steve lived with his wife Sophie and their two children Fred and Phoebe, and when time allows, follows his passions of movies, running, yoga and cooking. Next up, Emily. Emily um, is a business director ex of Karma Armasoon to join Iris as a managing partner. 15 years multidisciplined marketing experience, which includes um, holding the position of business director at Karma R until recently. She's also an IDM postgrad digital diploma tutor, there's a mouthful. Um, IPA campaign woman of tomorrow winner, IPA mentor, DMA judge, and a member of the advertising network for Women Bloom. She also finds time to be a shop owner, entrepreneur, and property developer, and is the mother to add to all of that list of extremely extensive tasks is the mother to George and Milo. So I'm looking forward to some of your insights because I'm cranky, I'm sure you do have some challenges. Um, next up is Vicky. Vicky is an account director here at Engine. Vicky has over 10 years 
um, experience in the integrated sector with a strong digital focus across leading FMCG brands such as Nescafe, Stella, Artois and pan-European campaigns for Unilever. She also has experience across a variety of other sectors, retail, government, leisure. Most recently, Vicky led the launch of the Warburton's campaign, the biggest ever integrated media campaign which spanned TV, radio and social media. To a huge effect, I'm led to believe. <laughs> uh, in July 2014, Vicky returned from a year's maternity leave, so these issues are very fresh in her world. She lives in Hertfordshire with her husband, a 14-year-old son and a cat and still has homes under the hammer on series link for those who are interested in finding out more of that. Uh, 14 months, 14, 14, months years. Or 14 years. 14 months. Sorry. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Next up, Karen Blackett, OBE CEO, a flurry of letters after your name, <laughs> CEO of Mediacom. Karen has been in media for 20 years, currently running the largest media agency in the UK, Mediacom. In her role, Karen controls 1.2 billion of media billings, manages over 900 people, and in 2013 led the agency to win over 160 million pounds worth of new business and to be named as Campaigns Media Agency of the Year. Karen is also personally recognised in the industry. She's featured in Management Today's 35 Under 35. A long time ago. <laughs> 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 and more, and more recently, uh, in the power list of the UK's 100 most influential black people, most significantly this year, she came in at number five. In 2012, Karen launched an apprenticeship scheme encouraging young people from all backgrounds to get a foot in the door of the industry. She's also a trustee of charity Adopt a Better Way and one of, was one of the finalists in the Verve Clico Business Women Awards 2014. Karen was awarded an OBE in the Queen's Birthday Honours list for her services to the media communication industry in June 2014. And last but not least, Sam, Sam Phillips. CMO, Omnicom, Media Group, UK, and MD, OMG, Ethics. Again, a flow of Texas. <laughs> well done, you. Um, after graduating from Bristol, Sam embarked on a career as an account handler at JWT and TBWA. She then slipped to the client side for nine years, first as head of marketing at ITV, and then as marketing director at IPC before moving back to the agency world in 2005. CMO of Omnicom, she sits on the holding company's board, responsible for sales and marketing, as well as a range of businesses including Fuse, Brand Science and Analect. Sam is also founder and managing director of the award-winning OMG Ethic, a leading multicultural marketing division. <coughs> Omnicom is a hugely successful and decorated UK, industry, uh, UK business, current holders of the Media Week Award of the Year and Marketing Agents of the Year. Sam is also a member of Wackle, sits on the Rada Development Board, is a keen singer. You may wish to give us some yeah. tunes later on. <laughs> I'm actually seeing on stage tonight with Blake. If anyone wants to come to the Fairfield Hall, there's still seats. There you go. Good luck. <laughs> and outside the work environment, Sam is married to Richard and has three children, Max, Ted and Tallulah. So welcome to the panel.